Evening, everyone. It's uh, 532, and this is your closing comment for Tuesday, the last day of February. And this is video number 1681. Okay, uh, so the Dow opened down and actually never went up on the day and finished pretty close to the low of the day, down 232 and change, or three quarters of a percent. Um, on the other hand, the NASDAQ, was up all day, right up until the end, where it closed pretty much on the low and down just 11.43 or a tenth of a percent. Um, but the way that it traced it out during the day was pretty weak. Um, the S&P had been up, finished down 12 or three tenths of a percent. Um, the only one that was up it was only up 72 cents was the Russell um, and the transports were down 102. So industrials, transports, S&P uh, and NASDAQ in that descending order. And as I said, the only one up on the day was the Russell. Um, advanced declines were pretty even. There were a couple of big Dow losers, and that's why it was down. It was only 1.1 to 1 down on the day. Um, NASDAQ was just 1 to 1, looked great. And uh, 5.2 billion, which is a huge jump from yesterday's 4.4. I mean, that's a 20% bump in it. Um, while the markets were down, what was interesting, or is interesting to me, you'll be the judge, was the VIX, which with the market down and the amount of complacency around, still sank a little further. Closed at 20.59, down 36 cents. So we're talking about, um, you know, absolute uh, nobody is, is concerned. I am, but um, you know, as far as the overall market, it's pretty. It's a pretty complacent part. Okay, um, as far as futures, the ch chart on the screen is my favorite because it looks like it's going in our direction. And today was an excellent test. Uh, this is the net gas, and it was up a little. Doesn't look like much up uh, just under a pe over a penny and a half. However, during the day after opening and being a little higher, they brought it all the way down to 256.8 and then took it right back up and closed it on the high. Now, I told you that we were going to see this crossover today of the 5 to the 20, and we did. Um, to me, it looks like, uh, you know, I don't know if it's going there in a straight shot, but it really looks like three and a quarter to me, which would be this uh, falling 50-day MA, 50, 100, and 200 in that order. But, um, you know, it, it's been in this area for a while. Once it closes, you know, above this uh, 322, it, actually could be off to the races. Okay, uh, oil was up $1.37. So we had them both moving in the same direction, which is kind of unusual. Um, copper, same situation. Copper was lower this morning and then came back up. Material stocks in general as a group, on one of the only three groups, S&P groups that were higher. I mean, you know, this looks like it really wants to try this area that we were in just last week um, in the 415 to 420 area. We actually hit and closed at 421.20 um, last week. So uh, I'm fairly pleased with that. Uh, gold was up 1180. The silver was up 28 cents. Uh, Bitcoin, very quiet day, about a $600 range, uh, and it closed at 23,410, down 35. The dollar uh, was stronger, up about 20 cents at 104.83. And that was kind of interesting because the bonds, when the dollar started getting weak, 
the bonds were down as much as one and an eighth. And in point of fact, they only closed down about one eighth. So a big recovery there that really did not show up in strength in the dollar. Okay, uh, we have a bunch of earnings. We had Ross stores with a beat top and bottom. It had closed at 110.53, down 39 cents, traded down to 105. Last is 108.21, down uh, 271, or 2.4 percent. First solar going the other way actually was up on the day, 168.96, up 285, traded up to 178.95, and the last is about 176. That's up nine and a half or 5.7. Uh, Rivian was a miss in revenues, a little bit of a beat. Um, guidance, though, was poor. Uh, they're now talking about 40,000 cars instead of 60,000 cars. And so that one had closed up 80 cents at 19 and a quarter, traded down to 1748. The last is 1792, which is only down 53 cents. But from the close or from yesterday's close, that's down $1.33, which on a $17 stock is 8%. Uh, here's a little one. I kind of hesitate to bring these up, but it's such a, an interesting one. CDIO. Uh, this is a stock that it looks like, I, I didn't do the homework on it, but it looks like it was a SPAC uh, because it had a line across the chart on the weekly right at 10. Um, we, got, we went from 10 to 80 cents and closed yesterday at a dollar thirteen. Um, Cardio is a. Uh, they have equipment now. <clears throat> it's called epigenetic treatment. It um, doesn't alter your DNA, but it does go and find places where it might not be right, and so they deal with it to make it right. Doesn't change it, just, I guess, restores it would be the best way to put it. So closed 113, traded up to $4. The last there is 343, up 211, just a scant 157%. Um, what was interesting today also was the way that the companies that reported this morning acted. Uh, J.M. Smucker was up $3. It actually closed down 17 cents. Target was only up 67 cents. It finished up $1.69. Um, and after the close here, we have news from two companies, and uh, one of them, as far as I'm concerned, is really nuts. So I'll give you the good one first, Sarepta. Sarepta trading at 140.93, up 1880. Um, they put out an announcement that it looks like the FDA is not going to take the step in between where they are now and approval, some sort of a review, and they say they don't need to do it. So uh, this would be um, this would it's about fifteen percent up, um, and they're looking for an approval, a decision. Um, May 29th, so that's very exciting for them. Novavax, I'm sure you all remember, it did a vaccine. Um, in, you're probably not going to believe this, it closed, it's trading right now at 694 down 232 or 25%. They had a call to update their um, fourth quarter numbers. Now, this is a stock that traded as high as 331 and as low as $3.54. And in that call, the CEO actually said he was concerned about them continuing to be a going concern. This is a you know, this is a company that probably went through a couple of billion dollars worth of sales to the government. And here we are, back.
back at six dollars from 331 so pretty ugly okay uh tomorrow the only thing that we have before the open is the weekly uh mortgage index last week was down 13.3 down 7.7 .7 the week before that down 19 the week before that at 9.45, we have the final IHS Market Manufacturing PMI. Um, that prior there is uh, 47.8. At 10 o'clock, we have construction spending. February ISM Manufacturing Index, um, you know, uh, consensus is uh, 47.8. Uh, prior is 47.4. So, uh, we'll have to look at those. And of course, at 1030 on Wednesdays, weekly crude oil inventories, 7.65 million was last week. All right, everyone, have, hope you all had a good day. Um, I'm really pleased with both the copper and the nat gas.